In today's daily dose of math, we're looking at the median, which is the middle value of a set of data. It would land right in the middle only if the data is listed going from smallest to largest, or vice versa. And we find the median with this simple little formula n plus 1 over 2. But this doesn't find the median directly. It finds the position of the median. It tells us how far to count until we get to the median. How this works is different depending on whether your sample size n is odd or even. So let's let it look at an example of each. Here we have an odd number of data. There are nine values here. n plus 1 over 2, therefore, is 9 plus 1 over 2, which simplifies to give 10 over 2, which gives us 5. But the median is not 5. The median is the fifth value in the data. So starting from the smallest and moving towards the largest, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, my fifth value is this 10. The median in this case is 10. In the second example, we have an even number of values. There are 10 values here. So our n, our sample size, is 10. And the n plus 1 over 2 formula becomes 10 plus 1 over 2 which is 11 over 2, and that gives us 5.5. Any time you have an even number of data, you will get a 0.5. And this means that our median is the 5 and a half value. Easier to say it's the average of the 5th and the 6th values, with 5.5 being halfway from 5th to 6th. So we need to find both the fifth and the sixth values to find our median. Counting, one, two, three, four, the fifth value and the sixth value are the 15 and the 18 in this case. The median is the average of those. So I have one more little calculation to do. 15 plus 18 over 2 finds the average of 15 and 18 and gives us 16.5. In this case, our median is 16.5. These are the only two things that can happen, depending on odd number of values, even number of values. And it's very simple, but there are a couple of extremely important things about this. One is to realize that this is not telling me my median, it's telling me the position of the median. And the other is to not be surprised when you get slightly different results using this formula, depending on whether you have an odd number of data or an even number of data. Medians are found in many different situations and become very important. You find medians quite often when you study statistics. If you know these basic concepts very well, it helps you to avoid being confused when you work with more difficult questions involving the median. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like this video, and if you're not subscribed, click on the subscribe button.